Welcome back, folks. Rudy Alpha Investments. Today, as we kick off and launch the Alpha Flesh and Blood box opening series, there's going to be two patrons, and we have the infamous Flesh and Blood New York investor. And I have a letter from him, reached out to him to confirm who he was and what was going on, and open communication. And uh, he has generously... Originally, I thought he was going to buy a box and open it, and I'll just send him the cards, but he wants to give back type of thing. And I'm going to read you this story, and I'm going to share with everybody uh, what we're entering here, and uh, a really exciting video. So I hope you guys stay with this, and uh, I just want to read you his story. Been a fan of your channel for years, Rudy. Watching Alpha Investments is the reason I got back into magic collecting in the first place. By now, many people have figured out who the flesh and blood New York quote unquote investor is. Though I had tried to keep that information on a private Facebook group. The global flesh and blood community has to thank you for the recent surge in popularity worldwide, as well as for the attention this new card game has garnered. I wanted to thank you for your kind words and your education through the years of how to handle collecting and investments, the investment perspective aspects of the CCG industry. Please accept this welcome to Wraith Alpha Booster Box as a token of my gratitude and do with it as you see fit. Those of you who don't know what that is, I'm going to show you in a second. An Alpha Welcome to Wraith Booster Box, current market price, uh, I'd say it's probably around $4,000 a box right now. There's not many sealed ones left in the world. I would be surprised if there's even a thousand sealed boxes left in the world. All right, please, wow, okay. Know you have a friend and ally in New York that also wants to see Legend Story Studios give big, bad Papa Hasbro a run for its money. And I'm looking forward to your launch of the Rudy's Flesh and Blood Studio background. And that's true, folks. If you're not familiar with it, uh, at another location, similar to I have about seven or eight locations where I film with different backgrounds, I have one in the works. I'm waiting with uh, James and Legend Story Studios to send me a couple additional uh, memorabilia background items. And uh, we're trying to get the lighting right and everything. It's probably still about a month away. It takes time because we got to ship things, wait for things. So, and of course, mail's going super slow. So, but yes, there will be a separate permanent flesh and blood background so we can differentiate uh, more to that type of theme. So that is hopefully coming in 30 days. I have also recently closed a sizable sealed product transaction with George Went, owner of the prominent LGS in South Carolina called Compete Sports in which we will be focusing a sizable part of the product on charitable contributions to ALS research. For those of you who don't know, I'm not very familiar with the medical world, so ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, is a degenerative disease that progressively deteriorates the brain and spinal cord. George, the owner of Compete Sports in South Carolina, spent much of his life raising millions of dollars for research towards finding a cure for ALS. Thank you for agreeing to take part of this journey with us. We look forward to collaborating with you in the good for society. This will be a lot of fun. Well, being ambassadors of the great new CCG. Thanks again, Rudy. And lastly, if anyone, <laughs> anyone likes seeing first edition flesh and blood box openings getting cracked, please tell your fans about the infamous New York investor, <laughs> Saint, in his YouTube channel, Fabled Hunters. Warm regards. Your neighborhood. Friendly. Dr. Saint of the Third Dynasty. Well, I appreciate that. That's very uh, beyond what I thought we were going to do. That's more uh, more generous than I expected. But yeah, I, um, I'm i not very familiar with Lou Gehrig's disease and different things like that. But man, I was Googling and researching and I was like, holy smokes, that is some seriously awful things. So um, yeah, so I guess uh, they have a lot of good causes and everything. So I would definitely recommend you guys you know, at least swing it over to his YouTube channel and saying thank you. I think, you know, donating tons of money and allowing us to crack, you know, an alpha box and buying this and doing it. I mean, I think, I think that alone speaks kind of volumes. So, so folks, today, <clears throat> what we have here is one of my personal positions from the very beginning, about a year and a half ago. This is one of my 10 cases, okay? And this is one from 2019 when the game was first launched and nobody cared and blah, blah, blah. And um, this is the Welcome to Wraith booster box with four booster boxes. These are the alpha printing. And um, obviously, if you're not familiar with it or not, uh, these boxes do not contain um, the company seal. 
It's just a clear wrapper. There is no logo on the wrapping. So obviously, if you're going to be buying items like this, you know, sealed cases carry a very large premium price. And um, because of that, um, you know, there's always the risk of the, the boxes being tampered with of becoming more and more of a real thing because the value is so expensive. And there just aren't a lot of sealed cases left in the world. So obviously, if you have a sealed case with the actual tape and marked, these came from the very beginning when we launched Flesh and Blood and I helped the company when they reached out to me. And I will share some of these stories in the future, folks, but when the company reached out to me way at the beginning to work with them and they sent me demo products and things and said, Rudy, what do you think? Is this something you'd like at least like to show on your channel? And would you want to sell this in the future? Is this something you want to carry or talk about? I'll be honest with everybody. As with everybody else in the world, I was extraordinarily skeptical. I get pitched ideas in new card games almost on a weekly, almost on a daily basis some weeks and sometimes during the year. And... Um, I didn't put much into it at the very beginning until I, I kind of gave out some of the welcome to, um, welcome decks, the uh, Ira decks, to other people here in Florida. And then when I ran the first promotion for these alpha boxes to patrons, and about two, three weeks later, I started getting feedback in my inbox. Started, people were just loving it, asking to buy second kits. I had some patrons I sold additional uh, alpha box variety kits, of course, like $50 a box. And you got free play mats, welcome decks, starter, but I just gave everything away and... The feedback was through the roof, and uh, I appreciate it, Saints, and uh, good luck. Here we go. Boom. Well, I felt it was appropriate, because everybody's so skeptical of this bubble and game, to bring in the bobs so that they could evaluate this video. <sighs> I've had this thing sitting for like 18 months, folks. Yeah. So today, like I said, as of right now, there's four boxes inside of here. Uh, Mr. Saint in New York here. This first video is for you. The next two are going to be for the patrons. And I guess the fourth box, I guess I'm just going to keep. And um, yeah, we're going to see what happens here. I have, It's been extremely long. I think I've only opened... I've only opened one Flesh and Blood Alpha Box on the channel a long time ago, at the very, very beginning. And um, I can't even remember the order. I know they changed some of the stuff after doing the Crucibles and the Unlimited and everything. So, uh, man, it doesn't, doesn't look like anything, does it? Doesn't look like anything. You don't realize, you know. And man, what I, there's, I got so many stories behind the scenes, folks, of what we went through in this thing. And before all this stuff took off and anybody cared, it was it was a crazy journey, folks. I can't even explain to you how ridiculous it was. It's I'll share some of the story times in the coming years and months and everything, but had no idea, nobody did, on how much how out of hand this stuff was gonna get. We had no idea. None of us did. You know, I thought the print run was already plenty at the beginning. I didn't think the price... I thought I was hoping the prices maybe go to like $150 a box one day. You know, we, we had no idea what the future held. And that's very important for everybody to remember that. Reinforces what I always talk to you all about. It is impossible to predict the future, ladies and gentlemen. Well, folks, thank you, Saint. Thank you, George. Godspeed for your journey and kindness on the ALS and Lou Gehrig's thing. That's... And uh, hopefully we, we hit something crazy so the views go nuts and uh, it can get shared all over the place. Uh, I guess people told me to be careful on opening these because they're more sensitive. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm assuming it's still the same order with the weapon token in the back, correct? Okay. Oh, that's right. Oh, my God. I forgot. Okay, so a lot to go over here. I forgot. the. There's no red. It's pink on the original ones. It's almost like a little misprint. It's a pink thing. Um, I completely forgot about that. That's okay. So there's still four commons in the front and then you get the common item, right? And then you get, <laughs> I watched one of the Saints videos and he said the pink snatch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Serious video. All right, here we go. All right. We got the warrior's valor and we're starting off. Ladies and gentlemen, unmovable. Is that a print dot? Oh yeah. It's a print dot. Unmovable. Common, and then of course we got our regular commons and a nice little bravo. Um, I don't. 
Bravo token in that. So we're going to kind of keep it organized. Oh, I, you know, it still doesn't feel, how do I say, it, real or legit. I, I can't believe the prices the way they are. I, I really, you know, it's just the whole thing has been such a surreal experience, folks. I can't even explain it real well. All right, folks, here we go. Right into the merchant's hood for the nice generic head common equipment. Going into, folks, our first rare blessing of deliverance for our first rare. And, okay, so I'm going to try and make sure my order stays good. Savage Feast for the uh, three resource variant. And we are into the foil common. God, it's so weird to see the pink line instead of the red now from the other video. Oh, my goodness. I'm, that is, that's going to take me a little bit of getting used to. I completely didn't even realize. It's been so long. Oh, my. Seeing the pink marking on the first edition is so bizarre. God, look at that smash hit. That's crazy, man. Stonewall confidence. Uh, response. Center. Res look at that. Oh, there, there's a good example. Look at this. There you go, folks. <clears throat> a lot of people are like, I don't get it. This game is dumb. It's got so this is a good example of the same card. Um, and the difference is pretty much the resource. You can see the blue, which represents always the three resource, and of course the pink, which is always one. So obviously, if you choose to build a deck around the three resource, you can see the plus you only get plus one. The actual ability is weakened. And if you only do if you take the lower resources, the ability is strengthened. So just to give you guys a little, I know a lot of people are still new to the game. Just wanted to pass that along. Oh, man. Oh, our girl, Dorinthia. Oh, look at that young Dorinthia. Flipping beautiful, man. All right. Slog. Demolition crew. Nim nimbleism? Not even sure what that is. Unmovable. We got a nice little common piece of gear. Our first rare, Sigil of Solace for the nice three resource. We had ourselves Overpower, a nice pink variant for the single. And we've got regular rare, Flickety Flack. All right, so that is our first foil first edition rare, folks. Nice little young rider there. Oh, okay. Even the wrappers. Like, I can tell the difference. Like, they feel different. Okay. Demolition Crew. Sink Below, Wounding Blow, and Wounding Bull. Here we go, folks. Cross trap, first rare, <clears throat> beat down, super rare coming through, our first big hit, Iron Song Determination. Nice little warrior action on there with the two resource version and a common. So we got our first super rare and a common demolition crew for the uh, common foil and nothing. Is, is there even a chance that you get anything or a different foil or a bonus or anything in the back one there? I love that Dawn Blade. It's a beautiful sword. Like I said, after this, we got two patrons that are brave enough to step into the $4,000 box Thunderdome of the Alpha opening. It's scary stuff. Oh, look at that, folks. Breaking scales. Haven't seen that ninja weapon in a while. <clears throat> All right, Barraging Beatdown. This is the uh, single resource, by the way. Did you guys notice that's the uh, two resource one down there? All right, here we go. Disable for the two. And uh, common foil pack hunt. Okay. <clears throat> oh, look at that. God, that Dorinthia. That is crazy, man. It's so weird. Like, I'm looking at this so different than the last time I opened a box opening for the Patron, the Alpha one. Way at the very beginning. I can't... It was so long ago, and I looked at the cards so differently than I do now. Ooh, bear... Oh, never mind. I thought something different. Barkbone Strapping. A little common uh, brute piece. Drone of Brutality for the rare. The old uh, Blackout Kick for the rare. And common leg tap. Very basic ninja card. Nothing crazy there. God, the pink line. That is so crazy. Like, I'm telling you all, I agree with Saint and other people. The fact that the first edition has the pink marking versus the normal cards, which are all red, the, that alone is going to be a huge thing, man. If the game continues to do well into the future, that's going to be a big thing in the future for collectability of people looking for those first variants. I'm telling you. That's a big difference, man. All right, here we go. Iron Rod Helm. Rare. Staunch response. Rare again. Warriors Valance. Valor. Oh, it's a common. Oh, thank God. It's not a wounding blow. Rainbow common. Oh, God. I, every time I see that common in that slot, I'm like, please don't be the cold foil. <laughs> Crack bobble coming through. Every time, every single time, folks. Every single time I see a common in the third slot for the foil, I'm just like, please don't be. Please don't be cold foil. All right, here we go. Hope Merchant's Hood. Love the art. Here we go. Overpower. 
the first rare. Super rare coming through Reckless Swing. Nice uh, blue three resource Reckless in a common uh, whelming gust wave. Oh my god, I'm like, this is brutal, man. This is tense. Club. I'm like, this is the slowest opening for Rudy. Like, I usually, I churn through packs on box openings. This is crazy. Like, I have never, <laughs> oh my god. I just don't want to do something ridiculous on like some insane card. Single of Solace. Blackout Kick. Common Foil. Look at, look at the mouth on that foil. Awakening Bellow for a Common Brew. That's the thing, folks. <clears throat> Everybody needs to understand. Like, if you hit a fabled card, Cold Foil, first edition, a fabled heart right now is twenty to $30,000 for a card, folks. Yeah. No joke. All right, some basic legs. Savage Feast. Flustering Fist with the old two resource. Whew, okay. God, look at that art on that one. Regurgitating Slog. Foil common. Wow, we have not hit anything dramatic right here, folks. Holy smokes. Woo, okay, okay. Oh, I mean, we we are literally... What do we... We have one... This is like... This is not a good video so far. Like, we have two super rares, one foil rare, and that's it. We have no majestic... We don't have anything, man. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful helm. That thing in cold foil is beautiful, even though it's just a common. Oh, hello, our first... Oh, the best potion. The top flip and gain two action points. And look, look at this card. Look at this. How is sorry. I know there's a cold foil promo of this. And I used to, I gave like hundreds of them out at the beginning. Actually, it was a thousand for all the kits at the very beginning. Look at this thing. Look at this. Nothing to play it. Look at this. Destroy the potion, gain two act like flip and pitch it for like how is this not one of the best cards in the game? I don't know. Blessing of deliverance. Oh boy. Super rare foil. Ooh. Ooh. Last ditch effort. Nice little generic super rare. Look at this. Look at that art. It's like some cheesy 80s art. Our first super rare. Okay, our first super rare. Ooh, okay. First super rare foil, folks. Come on. Majestic, legendaries, anything. Anything right now, folks. Another helm. Here we go. Overpower. Ooh, cranial crush. Dude, look at that chick's face. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. Look at this card. It swings for eight. Deals four more damage if they can. Look at this thing. Look at that. It costs six resources to play it. Oh, okay. Stonewall, Old Man Rudy. Foil common. Halfway through the box, folks. No cold foil, no cold foils yet. We've we've already proven it is possible to get more than one cold foil, but we just want one. Ah, oh, love that. Look at those bolts. Look at those legs, man. Those bracers, flipping sweet. Okay, rare beat down. Oh, majestic non foil ancestral empowerment with the pink marking across the top for the first majestic and common. Okay, okay. So we got our first majestic, our first common. So there it is, folks. You get you have the actual um, commons, the rare, super rare, and the majestic. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. You can see some of the little markings on the cards, by the way. It's kind of crazy. All right. Okay. Rare steel blade shunt. Ooh, crazy, bro. God, I feel like I'm forever gonna be known for this card. Because of that special variant. Oh my goodness. I forgot what the regular one looks like. What? What was this? Oh, I was like, what? Oh my gosh. So we got a flipping crazy brew. I, I can't think that was a majestic. Okay. And demolition crew for the common. Okay. Man, this is in another German. This is a really good box, actually. This is not bad at all. We're at four. That's not bad at all. Four super rares already? Okay. All right. Here we go. Scales. Drone of Brutality for the rare. Blackout kick. Ah, oh, rare. Staunch response. Look at this guy's head. His head is way too small for that body. That is a rare, though. That is our... Is that our only... Wait, hold on. Let me look real quick. So, commons. That's our only rare and only super rare. Right? Yeah, we have no majestic... So, we have... Oh, my God. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Oh man. 
flipping four thousand dollar alpha boxes. Are you flipping kidding me? These things are ridiculous. Come on, helm. Please give us something crazy. Breakneck battery. Savage feast. Oh god. Okay. It's the moment. It's the cold foil. Here it is, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've been waiting for. We've got a cold foil. Please don't be a common. Please don't be a common. Please don't be a common. Oh, God, it's a common. Oh, God, it's a common. Oh, oh man. Iron rot flipping plate. Is there at least, and at least it's in mint condition with no damage. Actually, it's beautiful centering and everything. Wow, that's actually a really clean card. Oh, God. Well, oh, God. I, my hand's like shaking from that. Well, folks, iron rot plate. It is an alpha cold foil, so it's probably still going to be like a $100, $200 card. But unfortunately, you know, compared to the other things you can get in the... Pro wow, another Time Snaps potion. That's really cool. Unfortunately, it, it, you're, it's going to kind of eliminate your odds of being able to get something major. Oh, God, that's so flipping dramatic, man. Oh, my God, it's so dramatic. Oh, man. That's the only thing. Now, again, it is possible. I've seen... And I've, we've even done a video on this channel with two cold foils in a single video. It is possible. It's just highly unlikely, folks. Stroke of Force. A beautiful art on that one, by the way. Holy smokes. That is a gorgeous card, but it is a common. Another beautiful Miss uh, Dorinthia over there. Folks, we're down to the last few packs. At this point in time, we're going to hope for some sort of, you know, fabled or something special or a legendary anything. We're looking for anything just special at this point. Sigil. Breakneck. And, of course, ah, Driving Blade for the foil common. You know, we still have some packs left. It is still possible. It's just now the odds have dropped significantly against us. So, maybe we'll have some miracle happen here, folks, and the video will go crazy. Ah, well, never mind. I just grabbed both. We have a rare... Oh, Last Ditch Effort for... That was exactly what our super rare foil was, really. And a common emerging... The emerging... Look at this card. It's like nothing. And then when the light hits it, it's pretty cool. All right, folks. Oh, man. Jeez, man. Oh, God. All right, here we go. I'm hoping for something ridiculous in the close, even though I know pretty much everyone's already kind of checked out at this point. Blackout kick and a common. Oh, God, it looks so nice, man. Look at that smash instinct. Look at that. Oh, that is a gory card. Holy smokes, that is brutal. Three packs left, ladies and gentlemen. Three packs left. Here we go. Snapdragon. Snatch with the yellow two resource. And uh, uh, foil rare savage feast. Not cheesy little root rare card. Nothing great. By the way, with another savage swing behind it. Two packs left, folks. Hope oh, something spicy or do we have at least the flipping majestic like foil or anything? Legendary would be nice. All right, Steel Blade. Alpha Rampage. Well, I asked for a Majestic. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your Alpha Rampage Majestic. Non-foil, but it's still Majestic, and it looks crazy with the pink mark, man. That is still crazy looking. And, of course, a Savage Swing on there for the common. That Majestic's pretty cool. That's our first or second? No, that's our second regular Majestic. Okay, I didn't know if we had one or not. Last pack, ladies and gentlemen. Those are some nice looking packs. <laughs> Unfortunately, no home run today, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. It's a miracle in the close. Is that too much to ask? Sigil. Disable. Ah, the Biting Blade. And that's the thing. And that is why I've told everybody the prices of these fabled and legendaries and cold foil are so expensive because there's just literally so few of them and they are so tough to get. It is ridiculous how tough it is to get these things. So, oh man, what did we get? So we had three, three foil rares, one super rare, no majestic foils. 
Ah, oh, no legendaries, no majestic. God, brutal, man. Well, folks, for those of you still watch this late in the video, thank you very much. I hope you are appreciating and learning and actually understanding more about what's going on with this game and not just being in kind of a dramatic emotional response to the prices or angry or easy money or it's a bubble. Just I, I encourage everyone, like I've said before, learn about the game. Understand each hero class. Understand... Literally, when you choose a class you want to build a deck around, how complicated and the skill and the time it takes you to really get good with that class and to literally learn. You know, it's like me with the ranger, me with the rune chant type things. You, you got to learn. It's you, you, it, the, the, the order of the cards and the resource management, you, you, it's, it's really in-depth and you've really got to learn. I know everyone's just looking at the cards going, oh, I love the art. Oh, I hate the art. But seriously, you know, I love the gear. The gear thing is one of the first things that spoke to me about this game was just the gear hunt because it reminded me all these pieces of equipment for all the different classes, the boots, the legs, the helms. These were the things that really spoke to me at first. I love gear. It's like a loot hunt thing. I really, that just does it for me. So I encourage you just really seriously not focus on the money, not focus on it's a bubble or it's, a, it's not going to be around. Just seriously, learn the game understand it and actually fully get in depth with it then if you don't like it i respect your answer but again saints and of course george thank you very much for the opportunity uh we didn't hit some crazy five ten thousand dollar stuff i'm just i'm sure you probably weren't expecting because it's super tough to do but you know i'd say probably the value of the cards in this box are probably a couple hundred dollars so unfortunately obviously our heavy hitter over here we got one cold foil not two but hey not zero but it is a common which even then Common cold foils are still over $100 nowadays, but unfortunately, even if it, even if this thing was like a rare or even a super rare, the prices are just astronomical, man. So that's it, folks. Up next, a few days from now, will be the first of only two patrons that have the tether balls to enter the chamber of the Ultimate Thunderdome to try it next. And I, then I'll have one box left after that. Boop. <laughs> have a great day, everybody.